Welcome, thank you so much for being here at Presswick STEM Academy. My name is Christine Gibson and I'm the principal here. I'm so sorry I'm not able to join you in person, but I did want to be able to share a little bit of information about our campus, about our learning styles, and what we believe here at Presswick STEM Academy so that you're aware and can have a little bit of insight. First, I'll share that we have four core values as a campus and that really came to be when we thought about the learning style that we wanted here at Presswick STEM Academy. Those four core values are persistence. We want our students and staff to show persistence, to show grit, and to try and try again when they face challenges. We also want them to understand that learning is a process, and so persistence represents that you may learn and you may fail at something or not get it fully correct the first time, and that's okay because you continue to strive to be better the next time. That also ties neatly with our engineering design process as part of our curriculum. We also believe in being adaptable. In our building, it's required to be adaptable because our learning spaces are not traditional. So we ask our teachers to teach in different manners. We ask our students to learn differently and we ask everyone to be able to work and learn in different spaces because learning truly can happen anywhere. And that requires us to have an adaptable mindset when we approach things. We also ask for students to be service-minded and for our staff to be service-minded. So how can we connect with the community and embed pieces of service to where we're giving back to our community and finding ways to give back to one another? And lastly, and most importantly, solution-focused. So what we know in education and in the world is that you're gonna face challenges, you're gonna find obstacles. And what we'd like to Im really embody is that you can be solution-focused. Anyone can find a problem, but only those who are unique can find solutions to those problems. And that comes from collaborating. So what you'll see when you walk through our building is the ability to collaborate, not just with people who are like-minded, but people who have diverse backgrounds from you. Uh, we believe that's an important part for all of our students to have. Our building is configured in houses or pods, and those are just kind of smaller learning spaces within a larger learning community. Uh, really is neat because it brings in that home feel and allows things in a building that's open and large to feel more small and connected. Um, those pods really are driven by the teachers who work in that space and they're allowed to make unique decisions about how they would like to use those learning spaces. One other unique factor that you'll find about our campus is the distributed library. So we do not have a centralized library. For many, that's an area of concern where they actually believe that how do you do things like manage materials. What we have found is twofold. The benefits of it is students have access to reading materials in a variety of ways. Also, we move to having much more categories of books that are available on an online database that have unlimited checkout, so you don't have to have a physical book in your hand. So there is a lot of putting the learning in the hands of our students, trusting them, and with that comes equipping them so they understand how to use things appropriately and how things will flow. Uh, we do look to have more of a collegiate feel where our students are allowed to move around. We run a non-bell system, so we all look at our clocks and do our best to follow those times. With the nature of it being, like I said, smaller settings within the larger school, we have the ability to see students more readily, we have a lot of glass, and so if you have a student who's lingering or who hasn't gotten where they need to go, we have teachers who can work on them using that. Now, lastly, the things that we've learned um, is that it's, it's so important to come back to what your beliefs are about learning because you will find teachers and students having a challenge as they move forward into learning in a different type of space. So what grounds you and anchors you is your belief about how children can learn anywhere as well as truly understanding and having faith that our students will enter a workplace that looks very different from what you and I have entered. It will be flexible. They may go into an office, they may not go into an office, they may work remotely. So our goal here is gonna constantly be to challenge ourselves for how can we prepare them for an adaptable experience so that when they go into different and diverse situations, they'll be able to not only adapt, but thrive and do exceptionally well.